That looks pretty. Yeah! How did you get in here? Nah, just kidding. That's not how any of this works. You're not really here. I'm pretty sure we established like a year or so ago that you're all just figments of my imagination. Do we have a clip? Unless you guys don't really exist and this is just, this the whole thing is a figment of my imagination. That is the one. How are you doing, you wonderful nerds? Scott here. As you guys can see, I've decorated the set for the fall. Perhaps maybe you went a bit too overboard. But before I did that, I wanted to make a set tour of the original set, uh, mostly for my own benefit, because I didn't think I'd be able to reset this up to the way that it was before I changed it, but also uh, for you guys as well, so you can see all the different toys and all the different comics that I have on the set back here. A lot of you guys have been asking for one, so I figured let's go ahead and let's do it today. So we're gonna talk about all of the different stuff that was behind me back here, all the books, and all the action figures and the collectibles and all that good stuff. But first, I think we should probably focus on the comic book rack back here. So here is a previous version of me talking to you guys about all these comics. So this is kind of the view that I see when I'm looking forward. Uh, we have a whole wall of sound foam right here and there is the set, probably a lot smaller than you guys uh, anticipated. We've got our great big comic book shelf. Uh, and I've separated them by publisher. So the top row here, we have DC comics, mostly a lot of New 52 stuff. Down here, we've got some Marvel comics, a lot of Miss Marvel, Moon Knights, a lot of the characters that I really love. Valiant comics down here from their uh, recent run and Scott Pilgrim, the whole series right down there. I got it for Christmas from my brother. And I love it. You can actually see these comic books individually in more detail over on an app I want to tell you guys about. So let's go back to the better camera. Hey, thanks past Scott. Good thinking. Yes, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a company called Snups. So the reason I bring them up is not just because they help me organize all of my collection back here, but also because they're going to be sponsoring a lot of Nerd Sync videos going forward for the next while. So I wanted to show them some love and introduce you guys to them properly. And if you're even watching this video right now, one that's not even about comic book trivia or history or, or whatever, that means you are one of the hardcore dedicated, wonderful nerds that makes this channel so awesome to be a part of. So I'm talking to you guys specifically here. So let me give you a rundown of what Snups is all about. Snups is pretty much the best place to organize and show off your collection, to connect with other people who are passionate about the same things that you are. It's not just limited to comic books specifically. Obviously, I have a pretty heavy comic book bias over here, but it's for anything that you could possibly be collecting. You can take a photo of something that you either want to archive for yourself privately or show off to other people, add some text, put it in a virtual shelf. As you can see, I've got stuff separated Marvel, DC, Valiant. I'm definitely gonna throw up my Jimmy Olsen collection there eventually, which is another cool part of the app. It's very community driven. I'm gonna be there. You get to see all the stuff that I got going on. I've made shelves for the set, including all the stuff back here that we'll talk about in a bit, but it also allows me to connect directly with you guys and see what you guys are collecting. And if you're not yet sensing a theme, I'm mostly gonna be a part of the comic book group over there, which already has close to, I think, 70,000 comic book collectors. So it's already a great community of people that you guys can jump into, talk with other enthusiasts, ask questions, share your collection, you want to show off a little bit, you can do that. Add your comics to the group. I want to see them. It's free. It's easy. There'll be a link in the description down below where you can go download the app. It's also just a website if you just want to go there. Once again, it's called Snups. You're going to be hearing a lot about it on this channel for the foreseeable future. So get on board and I'll see you over there. Links down below. But now let's get back and see what past Scott is doing with the rest of the set tour, shall we? So let's go ahead and go from left to right, starting with, uh, this is The Secret History of Wonder Woman by Jill Lepore. A lot of stuff you'll notice about the books I choose to put on the set, um, a lot of it has to just do with color combinations and how they pop against this blue wall. Uh, so originally, Marvel Comics The Untold Story was right here, but it's blue, the wall's blue, didn't pop as much. Uh, we have this really cute Spider-Man uh, plushy, big-headed figure guy. Up here, have a square Aquaman, which I really love. I picked that up at a con. This is a Scooby-Doo pop figure. That is great. And if any of you guys can uh, recognize where this is from, leave it in the comments below and we'll see which one of you guys can recognize my favorite movie? Was Superman a Spy? Highly recommend it. I recommended this book for years. It is densely packed with great comic book history. Next, let's go straight down here for more books. And again, most of these are chosen for color combinations. We have the Hamilton, but I am in front of it in every single video, and that makes me upset. Physics of Superheroes, Inkstained Amazons, and Cinematic Warriors. Uh, the League of Regrettable Superheroes, again, chosen for color combination. And right tucked back here, we have this little uh, Jack of Diamonds booklet, and when you open it, 
It's a deck of cards! Uh, I used to have a giant playing card collection, so this is kind of, it's a reference for me that only I will understand. Then over here, speaking of cards, we have the blood-stained Captain America cards from the first Avengers movie when Coulson gets sadly stabbed. I'm actually not a huge fan of Dorbs, but I really love the vehicles on these. This is uh, Star-Lord in the Milano and Batman in his Bat Batmobile, and I really love the way this one looks. But of course we have the peace de resistance right here, and I might have to adjust my lighting. Ooh, that looks real bad. One second, let me turn the uh, the lantern off. There we go, that's a little bit better we can see now. Uh, so this is an actual antique Green Lantern, uh, and my parents were very upset when I bought this because apparently it's very difficult to find a legitimate old school Green Lantern, and I got it for quite a steal. Uh, and all I did was put some green LED rope lights in here that are plugged in down there. And I think that'll about do it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We got some regular Nerd Sync videos coming right back at you this week. I'm super excited for them. Make sure you're subscribed and especially make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you can comment first on every video, even though I was first, guys. I was, I watched it before I uploaded it. My name is Scott, reminding you to read between the panels and grow smarter through comics. See ya.